Hi everyone and welcome to my weekly setup. As always, I'm starting off by numbering all the days of the week. Something that I'm doing a little bit differently from my previous weekly setups is I've started incorporating a daily planner into my setup. Um, the weekly planner was great but sometimes I just want a little bit more detail and this uh, daily planner page from Shenyang Studio was just a perfect addition to my planner. So what I've done is, after the weekly page, I've put in obviously seven daily pages and I'm hyperlinking all of them so that when I click the numbers that I put at the start, it takes me to the right daily page and then when I click on the date part at the top of the daily page, it'll take me back to the weekly overview page. It took me a couple of minutes to kind of get my head around the hyperlinking because I'm not very technically minded and I've never really done anything like this before but once I, I kind of did the first couple of pages then it got really easy um, after that um, and this bit got a bit repetitive so I just kind of sped the video up a little bit so it wasn't too boring but it was really easy to do the hyperlinks um, once I kind of got my head around it after the first couple so that will just make it really easy to flip between my weekly overview and the daily pages as well. it's time to start planning so mainly for this video I just kept to the weekly setup because I usually do my daily setups like first thing in the morning so that I can plan out what I need to do that day and when I'm going to do it so for the rest of the video it'll mainly just be my normal weekly setup that you get to see scheduling the days that I'm going to do certain cleaning tasks but half the time I end up going completely off um, off schedule and just doing whatever I think needs done at that time um, but it's nice to at least have a plan so I know what needs to get done every week and the good thing about digital planning is if I do change my mind and do something on a different day it's so easy just to move it around um, on the planner.
believe that I'm literally writing 2023 on this planner. I can't believe that I'm literally doing my 2023 digital setup, my book journal setup. How on earth are we like almost halfway through December already? It just blows my mind. Choosing stickers is honestly one of my favourite parts of digital planning. I've just got such a, a great collection to choose from and it's just so much fun picking ones and it just makes the spread look so much more alive and cute. So this is definitely one of my favourite parts of planning. trying to be more kind of regular with my skincare um, I can't just kind of do it sporadically whenever I remember but I'm not getting any younger and obviously winter's coming in now and that always makes my skin a bit worse so I'm really trying to keep on top of my skincare and that's why I've added it into my weekly planner because I get really frustrated if I can't check something off that's easy to do so hopefully this will kind of give me the kick in the backside that I need to keep up with my skincare
And now I'm just going to add some extra cute stickers just to make this bed look even better than it already does. Um, I need to take advantage of these Christmas and winter stickers whilst I can, especially the Christmas ones because I can only use them once a year. So I'm taking full advantage and just completely covering my spread in them. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.